everyone, Pushing Up Roses here, and today I've got a special treat, the most requested game for the Let's Play treatment that I've ever gotten, Grim Fandango. And I said, I know, I know what I said, I said a long time ago that I would never Let's Play Grim Fandango because I don't even know why, it's just a thing that I said, and I, it's on my website, and people ask me, and I'm like, no, I can't do it because it's too special. And then... While watching the E3 footage, uh, the the Sony conference, um, I noticed that suddenly Tim Schafer was on the screen. It was imag I'm trying to I'm trying to re re envision it. It was magical to me. Tim Schafer was on the screen, and then they announced that Grim Fandango is going to be remastered for the PS4. I was so excited. It was a magical moment, my friends. Seeing all the Grim Fandango artwork over all of those monitors, all of the like six or seven screens that they had with the music behind it. Oh my god, I was like crying. I wasn't really crying, but yeah, I was crying a little bit. Oh, it was great. So I decided, you know what? I did I did a review of Grim Fandango. Let's do let's let's play it. Let's play it together because part of the reason that I think that Tim Schafer would want to make a remastered game is because this game is hard to play. Not It's interesting, a lot of the people I've talked to have claimed that they know about the game and they really want to play it, but they've never had it. That's like the majority of my friends right there is, yeah, I know about that game and I've always wanted to play it. I can't track it down. It's hard to find. You'd end up having to pirate it. In box, it's very, very rare. I only know of a few people who actually own it. And so... I'm excited for this remaster because I feel like it will garner some new adventure game fans and keep the adventure genre relevant for me and for other fans alike. And so it is time, it is time now, I think, to do the Let's Play on Grim Fandango. We'll play it together. I really hope you guys enjoy it. As you can see, I'm using Residual VM to run this game. Um, this is an amazing virtual machine that runs Grim Fandango perfectly, otherwise I could not get it to run. I am running a Windows 8 machine right now, and I happen to have the disk, so I am running this off of the... I, I did make an ISO off of my original disk, I had it when I was younger, and I am now using this in residual. Runs beautifully, so let's get started. Let's watch the intro together, and I'll, I'll try not to fangasm, but I... I am giving you a, a no fangasm guarantee. All right, let's uh, let's start this up. Oh man, I love the little skeleton. Uh, this was actually the scene I used in my Grim Fandango review with the cigarette, and then everyone yelled at me for for, for smoking on approach. camera. But I don't smoke. I am ready to take you now. It's just a prop. Take me. Take me where. No, no. There's no need to be nervous. Nice shoes. Nervous? No. It's just your appearance. It's a little intimidating. Intimidating? Me? But I'm your friend. My name's Manny Calavera. I'm your new travel agent. I don't want a new travel agent. As opposed to your to old home. travel agent? <laughs> well, you can't go home, Celso. You're dead. But you're not alone. Everybody here is just as dead as you. That's why we call it the land of the dead. Fitting. Are you ready for your big journey? What kind no. of computer is that? What journey? The four-year journey of the soul. It is quite a big trip. And I can't lie to you, sir, so it could be very, very dangerous. It looks like a typewriter. Yes. You were to take with that a porthole. Very with and buy a better travel package from us. Sales. I mean, wouldn't you rather cross the land of the dead in your own sports car? Maybe try a luxury ocean cruise? Or... If you led a very good life, you may even be eligible for a ticket on the number nine itself. The number nine? That's our top of the line express train. It shoots straight to the ninth underworld, the land of eternal rest, in four minutes instead of four years. But very few people qualify. Let's take a look at your records. I love how even in the land of the dead, there's cheesy salesmen. Ooh. That's not good news. The bad news is the train appears to be just out of your reach. It's but booked. I still got a couple of tricks up my sleeve here. Oh, I wonder what kind of code that is. Mm -hmm. I'd love to take a look at that. Yeah. <laughs> look at him video yes, bomb. That's the ticket, the Excelsior Line. Excelsior yes, Line for Celso. That compass in the handle will sure come in handy too. 
Oh, you're going to have a great trip. Wish I was going. Why don't you? You could give me a lift. Oh, I can't leave here until I've worked off a little debt to the powers that be. Community service, eh? Well, I guess there are some folks worse off than me. Oh, I'll be leaving here soon enough. No thanks to dead and no commission low-life cases like yours, Menso. Hey, Manny. The boss told me to tell you not to leave early tonight. He wants to talk to you about something when he gets back from his trip. Tell Don not to worry. I'm not going anywhere. Aw, Manny. Especially not with clients like that. I'm sure Celso had a great life. Guys? They don't qualify for anything good, so I can't sell anything good. I can't work off my time, and I'm stuck. Stuck selling walking sticks to a bunch of burros for eternity. Burros? Is that, uh, is that donkeys? I need a real saint. I need a lead on a rich, dead saint. I took saint. one year of Spanish. And did not do very well. Hmm. ¿Qué es esto? Okay, so this is where we start the game. I just find that so intensely interesting. We're in the land of the dead. People die in based on their lives, their past lives. We can get them a good package, like a good afterlife deal. But Manny doesn't seem to be having any luck. So here's the controls. They're, um, as I said in my review, they're a little wonky. I'm actually using the keyboard to do this. Oh, nice. Uh, I like how my head isn't, is not moving. It's very owl-like. <laughs> okay, so when Manny wants to, when Manny sees something of interest, he'll actually look at it as opposed to like a point and click where something lights up or the cursor changes. He actually just looks at it. So we can look at the mailbox. It's one of those banker thingies. It's some sort of special work order. To all agents from office manager Don Copel. All right, you boneheads. Thank you, lucky stars, and get to your friggin' cars. We have a mass poisoning on our hands. Too many dead to assign specific cases. So all clients are first come, first serve. So <laughs> first serve. I like how he read what that in his, say, in his voice. So that's our boss. Apparently there's a poisoning. And that's a good thing. It's like, oh man, so many dead people. Who can I, who can I get as a client? A dead client. So I think he looked at something over here. I'm gonna see. My boss is always giving me these motivational sales books. They bought the farm, now sell them the cows. Stuff like that. Remember to upsell. I swear he looked at something over here. Is it over here? He has an amazing skill of turning only his body and not his head kind of like my parrot so i think there's there should be like a deck of cards on here and i don't know if i'm just missing it or something take it <laughs> wow we're doing so well in this game already i think you can make him run how do i make him run alt no control there's a way to make him run but i don't remember what it is trying to figure it out it, okay there it is it's shift shift will make him run okay I swear I swear there were cards here whatever okay we'll come back to it got to get to the poisoning Oh man, these controls. I'm like floundering all over the place. <sighs> My old door. I miss that art deco. Tamara de Lampica totally designed that door. Or it looks like it. Ah! It's our Janine like secretary. Hello there, toots. It's my boss's secretary, Ava. It's my boss's whipping boy, Manny. That's not nice. It's my boss's secretary, Oops. Ava. It's my boss's whipping boy, Manny. I actually meant to talk to her. Okay, let's talk to her. Buenos dias. Manny, why aren't you at the poisoning? I'm looking for my deck of cards. Where is it? What poisoning? I swear there's a yeah, deck of cards. Yeah, the code three gazpacho poisoning that everybody's Ooh. at but you. Gazpacho. Why do I send out memos if nobody reads them? Any messages for me? Besides the one about the poisoning? Yeah. 
I only have one other message for you. Ooh, what is it? I'm not your secretary. Aww. I don't take your messages. So get it through your thick skull and stop forwarding your phone to me. All right. But that sounded more like four messages to me. Smart ass. In my heart, though, you're still my secretary. <laughs> Manny, what are you talking about? I was never your secretary, even when you were on top. I got one boss. She's so same coy. As you, Don Copel. Come on, I know you work for another man besides Don. What? Well, what are you talking about? I know you take memos for Hurley sometimes. Ah, oh, Manny, just beat it, will That ya? sounded suspicious to me. I think, uh... Well, I, gotta I think go Ava's up to something. Okay, you show those bricks a lesson. Also, the typing of that typewriter is giving me, like, ASMR right now. Let's try to go through this really gaudy gold door. Big Mr. Boss Man doesn't want to be disturbed no. today. I'm still trying to get used to the controls because it's a little... Again, like I said, it's it, it takes a bit to get used to. Damn it, Manny. Mind if I use your hole punch? Knock yourself out. Ugh. Ugh. Thanks. Gets the feels, expressions out. Feels so it? much better. All right, now that I've punched some holes, let's see. Let's go down here. Na 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 na. So that was probably Hurley. <laughs> Hurley? Sounds like Hurl. So immature. Okay, let's knock on... Actually, can we just talk in the window? I wonder if we can just talk. Not when there's a door. How do I just talk? There's something big going on in there. Something big, all right. That was not any window. There actually is something big. Hey, service. Hey, who the... <laughs> Oh, Gladys! Oh, sorry, it's like my sir. favorite character in the game. Sales agents usually don't come over to this part of the garage. <laughs> nice hut. Nice hut. Yeah, I wonder how nice it would seem to you if you were trapped in it all day like me. You're so cute. Are you a hippo? I'm Calavera. Manny Calavera. My name's Gladys. I don't get many visitors. Hey! I got a message for a Mr. Calavera. Uh, your driver said that Mr. Hurley said that he could have the rest of the day off. <sighs> Typical. Domino sent my driver home. What an ass. Yeah, wasn't that nice? Yeah, very nice. Thank you. Gladys. Is that a German Gladys. name? Gladys. Is that a German name? Oh no. My roots lie not in any earthly nation. Oh, the soil. ears get me. I am an elemental spirit summoned up from the land of the dead itself and given one purpose, one skill, one desire. Cooking? To drive! Ooh. Or to change oil and adjust timing belts if no driving jobs are open. Hey, you a driver? Me? Ha! No. <laughs> ha! No, His no, mouth no. is so I impressive. Just wrench him. Please be my driver. Looks like I need a new driver. Oh! <laughs> oh. I, uh, I, uh, I would agree with that. Come on, Gladys, give in to your yes, desires. You do. I know that you want to drive and be out there on the open road with your little hippo ears flapping. You want to be my replacement driver? Me? Oh, oh, no. Sorry. Can't. Rules. Rules were meant to be broken, my friend. Come on, Gladys. I need you to be my driver. No, I can't. I'm... I'm... I'm too big. <laughs> You're not too big. You just You're have a self-image problem. You just have a self-image problem. A what? <laughs> Repeat after me. I am not fat. Positive I affirmations. Am thin. Women find me attractive. I am very hey, desirable. I never said I was too fat for the ladies, just the cars. The ladies like me just fine. Oh. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> Scroll the rules. Come with me. You're not no. too big. The cars are just too small. 
Yeah, those dang compact cars. Hey, that gives me an idea. Hey, I own a compact I car. Can alter your car just a bit with just a quick torch job to let out the seams, you know? I'll but I'm not allowed to modify the cars without a work order from upstairs. I could lose my job. A work order, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't right. do anything bigger than a cigarette without one of these signed by the boss himself. I'm on it. Hey, that's my line. Getting people to sign. Back in a snap. Yeah, too small. I'm not too big. Everything around here is just too Look at that twitching eye. So let's see. I just got a piece of inventory and I think I can put it back. Yeah, by pressing I. Oh, how do I get out? Oh, no. I didn't mean to do that. Well, you know what? We can walk around with our blade. It's We can walk around with that. It makes us look intimidating. So I think I can actually look... I don't want to mess up my blade. No, put your blade back, dude. Thank you. Keep it in there. There we go. Now I want to look in the window. Oh no, 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 no. Hey, oh, there hey, is. <laughs> did you get that work order signed yet? How do you fit in no. there? Can we just do it without? I told you I could lose my job. Manny, if I lose my job. Hey, 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 hey. don't worry. Just go on back to work. Guy's a little I'll neurotic. Get that work order signed. All right. Somehow. Let's do it. Let's go get the work order signed. And you have to do so many things to get the work order signed. Just in typical adventure game fashion. Uh, let's see. If I can just get into the elevator here. There we go. Already used to the controls. What do you know? I gotta find that deck of cards. Because I swear to God, there's a deck of cards. Don't mind me, Ava. Just trying to learn how to run. Okay, that, I swear, right there is a deck of cards. Why won't you look at it, fool? Or maybe it's not. Maybe I'm just retarded. Maybe I am, this is... <sighs> Wait a second, they're over here. Wow, that's just great. Better take these cards. It looks like a long day of solitaire for me. I can't even believe that. I can't even believe that. What the hell am I doing? Okay, let's put that away. I claim this to be my favorite game of all time, and yet I can't remember where the stinking deck of cards is. Sorry about that. Now let's go punch some holes in it. As soon as I get over there. So we're gonna take our inventory. Wow, I already have a lot of inventory. Use that. Are you Man, so spying? Just marking cards, honey. That's my Lemmy impression. Are you so spies? <laughs> it's really bad. I make a very bad Lemmy. Oh, uh, oh. Uh, let's well, let's see if we can just get her to sign the work order right away. Let's show her the Ace of Spades. Is this the work order? That can't be it. Oh, here it is. We'll get that out. And let's see if we can just give it to her. If I really need the boss to sign this work order. I'll give it a shot. Mr. Copel, I've got Manny Calavera out here to see you. Didn't I say no interruptions today? Eh, sorry, Cal. Maybe tomorrow. That's too late. Oh, yeah, like you're going. Mr. Copel, Mr. Calavera has something out here that he says he needs your signature on. Ah, oh, Christ, Ava, just sign If she had said anything else, we would have been so boned. <laughs> boned. Boned. Get it? Cause skeleton. You'll have to excuse him, Manny. <laughs> it's probably a really hard crosswood puzzle he's got in there today. Eva, I'm impressed. Ooh la la. I had no idea you had this kind of power. Ah. Well, I love powerful, progressive women's with the cat eye glasses. 